we have a young lady and who are you? with a color crayon um, press pad and she's standing in my face without my consent. Welcome back to the J-Town Press. We're back here in Brunswick, Georgia. We're going to do a little revisit of the brunswick Glen County Joint Water and Sewer Commission. And if you remember from last time, I went in there to peacefully gather content for my story. When the employees got their feelings hurt, called the police, and the police removed me under threat of arrest for a constitutionally protected activity. But before the revisit, I want to show you exactly what happened after I left that day of being threatened with arrest. Rest. I went over to the Brunswick Police Department and I got to talk to the chief. And it'll blow your mind what he said. Get the mic right. Um, hey, how are you? I, cool, good. I just want to see if you, uh, if I can file a complaint and who do I need to talk to. Yes, ma'am. Um, do you know who the complaint is on? Uh, it's on a sergeant. I forget his name right now. Uh, the incident happened over there at the water, the water utility over there. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Earlier today. Do you want to fill out a, like a formal complaint or do you want to speak with a supervisor of that? Well, we, we can start with that. I can talk to a supervisor and okay. we can start there. But it's a sergeant. Do I need, do I need to speak to like a lieutenant? Yeah, um, we don't have a lieutenant here today, but I can have the captain. Is the, yeah, the captain works, yeah. Yeah, if you want to take a seat, I'll let him know that you're out here. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. He's on his way out the door right now. If you want to fill this out, um, you can fill out with your complaint. Okay. He'll get forwarded to him. Okay. Um, and then he'll be able to give you a call back when he returns. Oh, so he's not here? Yeah, he's walking out the door right now. Yep. Oh, okay. Okay. So is there anybody I can talk to? Not that's a supervisor over him. Over oh, the sergeant? Yeah, over the sergeant. That's uh, right. Is the chief in? Nobody's here? Um, I can see if the chief's in. Yeah, if you don't mind. Yeah. I'm sure he might want to he might want to talk to me before I post, you know, make this public. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. How you doing? My name's Kevin Jones. How can I help? Hey, Lana. Are you the chief? I am. Oh, uh, I'm assuming you heard about the incident over at the water department. Are you? I heard that there was a call over there. Yeah. So basically, what happened is I had three of your officers, a sergeant, actually showed up, mm -hmm. and uh, you do understand that's a public, public place. Am I right? Yes. Uh, the water department is private. It's private. Yes. So the public does not own it. It's so there's not a board of commission. It's not. But it's owned, but it, it is publicly owned because the Georgia legislature actually is the one that uh, that formed it. They, it is basically like an act. So basically, the public still owns it. So basically, just like your lobby here, and I can record in your lobby. Absolutely. So as I walked in there, didn't say a word to anybody, mm -hmm. and uh, they asked me under threat of arrest to leave a public place. Just like there was actually. Uh, the, the first lady that approached me, I was actually in the, the public meeting in the toward the back. Have you been in that building? I have. So in the very back of that building where that uh, on the, the board of commissions meets and mm -hmm. stuff like that, those are public meetings. So anybody from the public can, is allowed to be back there. Yes. It'd be different if I kicked down your door and went back in your restricted area. I know that's against the law. When you're on public property that's owned by the public, that basically what happens is I'm allowed to go in there as press. I identified myself to, I forget what her name, executive director or something or another. I forget, a blind headed lady that was freaking out about a camera. <laughs> Said I didn't have permission and, you know, to film her and all this other stuff. But um, just like I have a right to be in this, in this public lobby, I have a right to be in that public lobby. And also I went back into the, um, the Board of Commissioners area. I actually talked to her. I have it on video. I'd be happy to send it to you that she says I was doing nothing illegal by videotaping. So they admitted that I'm not doing anything illegal, and then your sergeant came in, and I tried to warn him, and I tried to give him the case law, I tried to sit there and reason with him, but he had didn't want anything to do with it. He literally was like a feelings enforcement. That's what we like to call it in my business. So basically, instead of being law enforcement, you guys uh, enforce law. He actually enforced their feelings. Mm -hmm. So basically, Brandsburg v. Hayes, which is the case law, I told your uh, sergeant, I said, anywhere the public's allowed, the press is. They're equal. So it means the press doesn't have higher powers and okay. you know, vice I versa. I understand all that. How can so my, my, com today? my complaint is, is he removed me under threat of arrest. So he told yes, me, sir. I will arrest you if you don't leave. Yes, ma'am. And that's because of, you know, they, they tried trespassing me. He's getting private and public property confused. Okay, well, it'd be different if I was at Walmart. If I was at Walmart and they said I don't like your blue shirt, get yes, out of here. I could, I could leave. I'm not going to debate private sure. public property with you. The water authority mm -hmm. is a private entity. They're not run by the city or the county. So that's between you and them. Okay. Well, I guess my question is, so how long is the trespass for? Yes. 
pretty much infinite. So infinite. So you trust mass people from a public place indefinitely. From a private place. Well, it's public. So I'm not going to be right. That's fine. We have a complaint for him. We'd be happy to provide you one. Sure. He'll be investigated by his supervisor or internal affairs. Okay. All right. Have a good day. Thank you, ma'am. Have a good day. You too. God bless. Fast forward to February 27th, 2024, I went back over to the police department there in Brunswick to see if they had learned the difference between public and private. Hello. Hey Chief, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, I just had a quick question that, uh, are you guys going to still... Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to stand, I, I feel more okay. comfortable. Um, I guess my question is, is are y'all still going to enforce a uh, the unconstitutional trust path that they did from the, uh, the Brunswick... Glen County Joint Water and Sewer Board? Well, I'm not going to get into a debate with you. So if I go back in there, what's going to happen? If you cause a disturbance. No, I didn't say that. With, if I break a law. If you cause a disturbance mm -hmm. or interfere with normal business, as you know it says from case law, you can be removed from the property. Okay. So was I called a disturbance that last time? Were you? I'm asking you. I wasn't there. Okay. I mean, you've seen the video, I'm assuming. The safe assumption. The officers and the people that work there indicated you were. Okay. So if I go back in there right now without breaking a law. Then you can film as much as you want. Okay. So if I walk. Cause okay. a disturbance, you can be removed. Okay. That's all I wanted to ask. Sure. So I'm going to go back over there right now and go finish what my story that I was uh, finishing last time. So peacefully. Very and that's good. all I want. I just want to hear it from you instead of. You know, one of your officers or a captain or something like that. I want to hear it right from, from you. So, absolutely. All right, all right. that's all I want to hear. All right. all right, thank you so much. Thank you. Right. Have a good day. You good too. Luck. Good luck. Do I need it? We all need good luck, don't we? <laughs> I hope. I hope I don't need luck. I hope I can just follow the law and and be peacefully left alone and not removed under threat of arrest. I hope so too. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. She does not have their consent to be filming them. Do y'all want her in here? She's not. Uh, she should not be here. She had come in nicely and spoke to the public information officer. And had she asked if she had people's consent, that would this be different. This is owned by the public, so they She's can't remove She's refusing to remove herself and vacate the premises. Do y'all want her to leave? She's been very rude. Chief Godby, how you doing? How are you? Good. Just taking some pictures and video. Thanks. So just taking a few pictures and video. Thank you. Oh, look, they've actually got this door open closed, and they've actually got a... Yeah, people. Okay. Well, I, I wanted the idea of what happened because I walked in and, like I said, uh, she was like aggressive towards me, and I just walked right. in. Yeah, so I was. Nobody knows what what she's doing. She nobody won't tell us. Who she is or yeah. what she's there or anything. She yeah. won't tell us. She won't identify. If she had come in and said, "Hey, you know, can I speak to your public information officer?" Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm doing this. That would be different. Yeah, definitely. Hey, Good, you. I love the smile. It works in there. So it's called Kayla Walkbook. Hello. This is the commission meeting room. We were in there last time. We got a little bit different configuration. Plans for coming back to it. Then if that's if that's appropriate, I would say that would be. And who are you? How may we help uh, you? By taking the video, I guess. Because I'd say. like to see who the person is who's in here oh. videotaping our staff. That's oh, what I'm is concerned it, about. Oh, okay. Is it why is it so that's scary? Not some, that's not something that happens every day. Oh, but is it legal though? <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. <laughs> It says Frank Hobbs. And you get to go here. You got Gemini Edwards. You got new account specialist. Remember, she was standing like right here. Remember, she was sitting there running her mouth. You, you can, you yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, can, can we come over? Can we come over here me. so we can talk without her yelling? You do not have our consent. Uh, okay. To any of us? If have you asked these ladies back here if they have your consent? If you have so can we can we talk peacefully? She's obviously she's getting upset. She's talking. She's she's pretty high up in the ladder. I could care less. I'm we the people. I'm even higher than that. Don't you feel me? You need permission. This is where most of the action took place. Here, this is where I was actually threatened with arrest. Okay. At this point, if I don't leave, I'll be arrested. Yes. So, okay, I'll leave my truck for us. Okay. Okay, please ring the bell. She came up 
up and hit the button and saw who it was. They hide behind they hide behind these these doors away from we the people. They're afraid to answer any questions. They refuse to answer any questions, obviously. They're not coming out. I hit the doorbell. I shall hit it again. Look at me. I'm on camera. As well, when she walks around, yes. monitors have personal, private, confidential information on them. And the onus is on you to protect that, not me. In public. Oh, I'm sorry, in but public. Do not ask. Well, not I don't need to. Yeah. In public. Um, yeah. Can you articulate? You might want to contact your city attorney, sir. I'm not contacting the city attorney. I'm not going to Okay. Well, you're about to make a. <laughs> I was trying to get somebody back here, but they keep running away from me. I didn't know if you could grab somebody. That way I could ask my questions and I can get out of here. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Thank you. Everybody out to lunch? Is everybody out to lunch? I said, is everybody out to lunch? If they're out to lunch? Because I was ringing the bell over there and I couldn't get anybody to answer. And the office is over there. I didn't know if anybody was here to comment, so. And also to take a tour. Anybody, y'all do tours back there? I'm not sure. I would have to get in contact with somebody over there. Yes, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I'm not lying. Go ahead. I can't find anybody. I think everybody's at lunch. Everybody's at lunch? What, till what time? One o'clock? Oh, I think that's true. Where are till one o'clock? Yeah, so we just need... Till one o'clock? I would assume. Okay, thank you. Have their schedules yeah, the, the, Thanks. They're always out to lunch or in a meeting. Mm, how convenient. Everybody. Not one person. Everybody leaves for lunch between 12 and 1. Nobody does like the 11 to 12. I can see people back there. See you later. Have a good you too. God bless. I guess it's like a sovereign citizen type deal. Okay. Where she's saying, we can't make her leave. She won't give us her name to trespass her. They want her to leave. She said that if we trespass her, then and she goes to jail, then, then what? she has lawsuits. So? And then I said, okay, well, I need your name. For what? I haven't committed a crime. So well, you're kind of trespassing after they told you to leave. She said, well, why do you need my name? I said, to issue the trespass so it could be in our system. You don't need my name for that. You have my face. Well, we'll get her name for the booking sheet. If, if, they, if they tell her to yeah. leave and she refuses so to leave, to yeah. speak then, then, then she can go for criminal trespass. That's just, that's just the way it's going to be. Lord, please put critical thinking skills back in the education system here in America. Let's keep letting freedom ring.